What's going on everybody, it's Gone Turbo here. This is Skyrim Special Edition on Xbox One. In this video, I'd like to highlight a couple of mods that have come out in the middle of March 2020. These are a series of landscape mods that have been provided by Stone Spiral Gaming. And the main mod here that I want to highlight is Septentrional Landscapes. This is a little over 200 megabytes in size, and it changes a good portion of landscapes throughout Skyrim, but not every single piece. Also highlighted in this video are blended roads with a bridges add-on, northern shores, and mossy white run. So in this video I'm going to show screenshots of these mods and how they look in the game. And I wanted to talk a little bit about landscape mods in general because there's really two approaches that I found when it comes to modding your landscapes in in Skyrim. One is more of a uh, a single mod that covers many many parts of landscapes or an approach where you're taking lots of smaller mods and customizing how you see fit or how you would like your game to look. So for example a mod like Skyland. The original Skyland changed ground textures but also changed snow, rocks, mountains, uh, dirt cliffs, um, and even even interiors of caves and dungeons. Some other of these larger file size packs, like Rustic Lands or Vivid Landscapes, uh, are will cover all of those kinds of things. Um, so you don't have to think much about it. I can I can install this mod and it it covers everything that I need and I like the way it looks. The other way is that you'll find pieces of these mods. So Septentrional Landscapes covers all of the landscape textures. However, it doesn't cover dirt cliffs or snow or rocks or mountains and really other parts of landscapes like roads and northern shores. So it does allow you to customize your approach to retexturing your landscapes and what you might like but it does take a little bit more work because you have to find them and then decide which ones you like after all. There are different mods for dirt cliffs, there are lots of different mods for rocks and mountains, so there's some customization in that approach as well. I like Septentrional Landscapes, there's some nice textures, it's 2K, there's a 1K version as well. Everything looks really nice and again you could customize by adding a particular snow texture that you might like. Um, dirt cliffs, again, you're probably going to have to find something because it doesn't cover that. And uh, rocks and mountains as well. Um, wasn't too thrilled with the, the coloring of the roads. The stones being really light gray and the, the, the dirt or soil texture around them being a darker gray. Just looked kind of interesting choice there. Um, but overall, for 2K landscapes, everything looked, looked really nice. Uh, in terms of Mossy White Run, this is a mod that provides... Uh, a, a uh, the the cobblestones of White Run to have um, like a a moss look around them, and uh, there's a couple shots in here of that. I thought it was really cool, so that was really nice. So anyway, wanted to highlight these particular mods: Septentrional Landscapes, which is a little over 200 megabytes, uh, Blended Roads, Northern Shores, Mossy White Run. We're talking like in the 20s in terms of a uh, uh, file size, so not much there to to worry too much about. But as you're modding landscapes, just think, do you want a, a bigger pack that covers most things or more of these bits and pieces that might cover only certain things and you, then you can customize it a little bit more. In either case, have fun, enjoy. Modding is all about what you like and how you want your game to look. Thanks for watching. Stick around. This has been Gone Turbo, and I'll talk to you again soon.